Hello YouTube! Sorry guys, but today again no audio related video on my channel. So today morning I waked up for a little weird uh, error message on my phone. From the moment you're up, so are we. And it showed me four uh, uh, computer from my rendering farm is out from the system and I cannot reach the data. So I went into the office and I start to work. And later on, uh, I realized today is Saturday because nobody came to work. So <laughs> uh, then I decided, uh, okay, this is the best time to do some kind of uh, computer and server maintenance. So I, this is why I'm here in uh, front of my garage because here I can use this uh, eight bar uh, air pistol to clean uh, the computers out. So after uh, I cleaned out all of these uh, four computers, I realized they're not working. So nothing, nothing nothing and nothing. Then I went back uh, to the server cabinet to check uh, what uh, can cause this uh, really, really bad day for me. And over there I smell some kind of really bad smell. It's like smell like a dead rat or a dead cat or something like this. So I uh, take apart uh, the server cabinet and I start to look for the dead rat. You don't have to look too hard. Our technology is everywhere. And I find the source of the bad smell. And the smell is came the, from this area. Because I thought, ah, maybe some animal is went inside and really he died <laughs> by electric shock or something like this. So I opened the bit, the front panel and oh my God, the smell is like almost want to kill me. So I opened more the front panel and uh, let me show you what I find inside. This is unbelievable. And uh, this is also true, not just on the top, it's also true on the side. So I now have clue how I will get them out. So maybe you can see uh, from here, but uh, no, these batteries are really stuck in inside in this device. But the main issue is not this. The main issue is this dumb UPS 1000. It didn't show me I have any kind of problem or error or fault inside in a unit. So here it showed me the load is 27% and the battery charging is 100%. So no error indication on a system fault LED and no error indication on a battery fault LED. But we are the global specialists in energy management. So APC, please explain to me how this dumb UPS 1000 cannot detect the fault if the battery is look like this. All of this uh, sophisticated, overcomplicated PCB with a lot of uh, computing power and I don't know what kind of CPUs and memories and programs inside. We move raw data so that it becomes information for smoother running. And maybe you can see that there is some kind of really huge uh, main CPU cannot detect this level of battery error. Please explain to me. And the bad smell, it's came exactly from, from the batteries. I think those two battery is already on a cooked state. I think I kind of lucky boy today because I detected this really bad smell. And uh, also because of my rendering farm system is told me on a early morning, I have some kind of issue. So why I'm lucky? Because I can imagine what can happen on a weekend if this, uh, dumb UPS 1000 system is still running, let's say, for other 48 hours with this kind of uh, dead batteries inside, with this amount of generated heat. I think uh, on the next uh, morning, I lose all of my servers, all of my files, all of my backup tapes, all of my cabinet, all of my server room, including the office because of the fire.
And in everything we do, we make sure that even while you're asleep, life is on. So guys, uh, in the APC, sorry, but I will never ever purchase anything, nothing from you guys. We never forget what's at the end of the day. Yeah, this is a big uh, break into my heart because uh, as an IT manager, I always purchase uh, these kind of units. Uh, by the way, in other uh, server room, what I have, I have uh, from the APC uh, smart UPS system, you know, guys, this really professional, really big, beefy uh, rack mounted uh, units. But I think on Monday morning, I will start to take them out from the server cabinets and I will replace them to, to something else because... Uh, we never forget what's at the end of the day. No, I lost the trust on uh, this brand, absolutely. I know, I know, I know, the batteries can die, the batteries uh, can dry out, the batteries need to be replaced and the batteries need uh, maintenance. But how this smart dumb UPS system cannot detect this level of error. So now just for the fun, I will try to take out these batteries because I want to show you guys <laughs> how I already released the, the PCB from here and from here because maybe you can see though the force from the batteries is so big it's pushed out uh, the side of this metal like a half centimeter, maybe you can see. I'm 100% sure I have to damage the unit because uh, the batteries are, are sticked into this uh, indentation on a side, so no way, maybe you can see, but no way to get out uh, these batteries on, on a normal way. So maybe I have to cut here with the angle grinder or I don't know. Um, no. It looks to me still stuck in. Look what kind of precision tools I have to use in this uh, dumb UPS 1000 system. <laughs> no, no way. Uh, I don't want to use angle grinder, but eh, eh, okay. Oh, it's out. Oh my God. Look at this. So this is the level of the fault of these accumulators, huh? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I told you guys, this is original APC battery, so nothing aftermarket. It came with the unit itself and uh, look at this, oh my God. But you can see the level of the damage here, yeah. This is really nasty. Let me let me do here some kind of measurement. This is the voltage what we have in Aku. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all. And let's check the other one. Yeah. Zero point nothing voltage. So let's check uh, the resistance. 1.2 mega ohm after the fault. And on other one. It's the same like 1.6 mega ohm. I hope these data will uh, help uh, the APC to redesign their products. But for me it's totally irrelevant because I will never buy nothing anymore from them. We never forget what's at the end of the day. So look, look here, for example, how much pressure is built up here. You see these two indentation in an Aku? This is came from this uh, plastic uh, space holders. So it's ab absolutely pressed in the plastic into these space holders. And the force is so big and the temperature is so big. All of this uh, plastic housing of the accumulator is melted. And these uh, plastic uh, uh, space holders can push in into the Aku. Unbelievable level of fault. This uh, Aku charger 
It uh, cost me 42 euro. Uh, so let's uh, put it on our motorbike. So now it's uh, power on. And let's uh, attach the, to the Aku. Let's see what this 42 euro Aku charger will say about uh, this accumulator. Yeah? I'm really interested in it. So positive, negative. So if, uh, if the Aku is dead, nothing will happen here on the front. Exactly. So nothing, and it's not telling me is uh, even he cannot recognize the the Aku is attached to this system. I think uh, because of this really mega ohm range of uh, resistance, nothing. So the 42 euro motorbike Aku charger can detect the error in our Aku. And the smart UPS cannot. But our resources are limited. Smart dumb. Uh, garbage. See you next time. Bye. So my final words about this uh, APC dumb UPS 1000. Hogy b***** teléb a jó büdös tetves nyárdat, amikor meggyártottad a rohadt kib***** tetves k***** gyűjt az összes az meg. <laughs> you guys have to learn in Hungarian. <laughs>